ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the Discipline Therapy Podcast with your two hosts, Suhei Sotomayor, and with me always... Yo, Discipline in the Building. I mean, I don't know if I want to um to the headphones. I don't know if I want to do the headphones. I mm. like hearing myself, personally. I'm just going to turn it all mm. the way up. <laughs> like a psycho. <laughs> okay. We're also on the major listening platforms such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Deezer, Amazon Music, Overcast, CastBox, and many more. Mm-hmm. Since you ladies and gentlemen are fiends, what that means is we have a dose of discipline therapy where everything is completely free. See, if you subscribe, there's no monthly fee. It's free. It's judgment-free, sucker-free, censor-free, sensitive-free, and plenty of liberty. God and the ancient ancestors are great, and that means everything else is straight. So go grab your wine, popcorn, roll a blunt. But the main thing is make sure the children are in bed. This is that soul, food, and sometimes vulgar conversations. Prepare your mind to be fed. Light one up, inhale life, and exhale strife. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, you are tuned in to the Discipline Therapy Podcast. We're, We're here. here. I'm just getting faster with it. Very fast. And I'm catching, I know you're sometimes, but I don't know it enough to do it by myself, but I do know it when you're going to say certain things. I'm like, there goes the pitch. It's your pitch. I follow your pitch. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we have a great show tonight. Great show. Great show. Great Episode show. 30, Great Sex is Power. Great Sex You is like power. how I said that, right? I'm channeling my, my inner EL discipline. Great Sex is Power. Do you think any, it, it applies to both men and women? Um... Yes. Me too. And uh, what do you think about it? I think I think great sex is power. I agree, and uh, and I also agree that it's it could go either way. Great sex from a woman gives her power. Great sex from a man gives him power. Yes. The title "Great Sex Is Power" is actually from my second. Oh no, my the second book in the installment of the Stuck Between Two Different Worlds book series mm-hmm. is my sixth book. Yes. The strong bonds never break, mm-hmm. and um, that has to do with that chapter has to do with Maria and Dominic, and um, the fictional characters I created, and it's like the transition of power between Dominic and Maria, and that has to do with the sex. Uh-huh. Maria is married to a wealthy business mogul, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, who has more power than Dominic. Dominic and Maria get involved. People have to read Stuck Between Two Different Worlds to find out how that is. And um, Strong Bonds of a Break um, to read that chapter, Great Sex is Power. Definitely. But that first book, Stuck Between Two Different Worlds, Maria does something. I don't want to give anything away, but she does something that benefits Dominic but might hurt her husband. This is after the the... the... I'm assuming that they had yes, sex. They had okay, sex, so this yeah. is after they had sex that mm-hmm. she's doing it. Yeah. Hence, why great sex, great is, sex power. is power. Yeah, got you. Yeah, and that's the first book, which you might find yeah. another and familiar we've, we've face. Talk, besides we've his talked on about there. this in in previous episodes yeah. where we've mentioned that um, a woman who is with a man who is um, providing a fine a, a sub- significant amount of capital. A substantial amount of capital or materialistic things or whatever, but not providing that love, that great sex, she's most likely to cheat on him. She might mm. not even op- like open her legs to another man, but she might talk to another man. She might start flirting with another man. She might start entertaining another man or men. You know, you go on social media and do whatever it is. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because of that lack of attention she's getting, the lack right. of appreciation, the lack of love, the lack of great sex. You right, understand? the money's nice, but it's not enough. Exactly. These are these things are embedded in women, mm-hmm. you know, and I feel that women will connect um emotions with sex. I've said this countless yes, times. And I agree with that. Whereas some men Most can be, women. Well, all women, depending on the men. Because I believe yes. this is embedded in women. It's embedded in women to be rescuers, nurturers, emotional, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? They have periods once a month. They can carry babies. You know, they can, um, you know, oh, somebody's crying. You know, they're going to connect with they're them more. They're going to try to Yes. Yeah. Where men can be assholes. They're not show, um, displaying empathy. You know, women are prone to, you know. Right, the nurturers. Exactly. Right. You know, so so the love is is a factor for women. You know, that's why they that's why they always say women love early, men love late. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because this is already embedded in women. 
Now, if a woman is heartless or whatever, that could have been because of the past because, men right. she was with, um, Sims, beta males, whatever, you know, that has made her heartless. So that's why you might say, um, not all women, mm. but it you is, me heartless? it is all women because it depends on the men. Women yes. follow men, especially the men that they're with. Mm -hmm. You that's know what I'm true. saying? If you're used to dating niggas, then you might be a bitch. If you're used to dating kings, you're going to inspire to be a queen. You're going to inspire to walk, talk, act, think yeah. like I him. Was, I was just about to say, they say that when you're like in a, a couple relationship or like the the girl usually, well, and the other guy, but it's mostly the woman usually adopts his music, his yeah. friend, all that stuff. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe that women love men only who they could learn from. Mm. You know what I mean? They don't crave a man. They, they, they don't, they can't mentally, that can't mentally stimulate them. They, they 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 mentally crave a man that can teach them things. You know what I'm saying? They they don't love a man that can't teach them things. So mm. whether that is a man teaching you about BDSM, whether that's man teaching you about your body that you never knew from other yes. men, whether that's a man making you a better woman, whether that's a man teaching you how to be an entrepreneur, a hustler, whether that's a man teaching you about science, biology, sports, whatever it is. Women are going to appreciate that because women have more loyalty genes than men. If you treat her good, she's going to treat you great. So the little that you give her, she's going to be like, wow, we mm -hmm. talked about this in a prior show about the, 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 the woman could be with a man who friends with benefits. She called all these other people because her tire blew out in the highway. Mm -hmm. But that guy it's with friends with things. benefits picked up and she says, listen, um, I need your help. And he's like, no problem. Bet I'm yep. there. The moment he's there, oh, you're my knight in shining armor, she's going to fall. That's the key word. You're my knight in shining armor. She's going to fall. Yep. I because now she's, now she's, now she's, now she's building this emotional attachment because she's in her mind, in her subconscious, it's like protector. He mm -hmm. was there when I needed him. Mm -hmm. Loyal. Maybe. Um, um, he he, he I could count me. on him. Yeah. Trust. All of these things are are you're unlocking these portals. Mm -hmm. You're unlocking these things with women. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they would connect with that. So I do think that it's it's a, a good looking person only gets you so far. You know yeah. what I mean? Like cause I I a long time ago, I I was talking or dating whatever I was with this guy. I'm talking about a long time ago before I had my kids. Good looking guy. Mm. Good looking guy. It's when he opened his mouth that it was like, don't mm. talk anymore. Mm. And that only lasted so much. You mm. know what I mean? Afterwards, yeah. it was like, all right, you're going to have to go now, buddy. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. It's just that with, with women, some of them might say, oh, I could, do a, I could do a friends with benefits, a motionless relationship. But if you guys, if, if, if your guys are, ha if you guys are having sex twice a week, three times a week, um, once a week, that is quite a friendship there. Once, once a week. Um, and she's the one initiating. She's the one always calling you. That's kind of her building emotions yeah. because if she was emotionless, it would have been a one night stand. I It'd think be like, all right, buddy, mm -hmm. you got my rocks off. Yes. Peace out. Like a woman could do that. If she is like we mentioned, she has a rich husband who he travels a lot so he's barely home she might go to a bar and she might pick up a guy hey come back to my place and he might slay him and be like all right buddy bye right, because right. she already has a dude right. that he's not providing that physical support but he's providing that financial support or whatever stability. that stability you know what i'm saying so she might be able to do that or let's say let's say she she has two men Mm. Whereas now it's like she's doing that, but with the other guy, he's providing right, other right. things. I, but if I she doesn't like, have a guy, I feel like women um, want to think that they can do that also, and probably because they've been in in situations where it was done to them, and they're it comes to a point where they're like, "No, I'm not going to let this happen again. I'm going to do it." Mm. And the the fact is, just like you said, because women are nurturers and and are just more emotional, which is not a bad thing. Him saying that women are more emotional does not mean that that you know we're just gonna cry at the, at the drop of a of a hat. Is that we put our heart into things. It's, so it's a gift and a curse. Yeah, definitely. So I I think that women try to. It's just that you know mo most women I'm gonna say it it doesn't happen. They end up putting more feelings into it. Yeah, it's a gift and a. <laughs> I, I believe it's a gift and a curse. I believe so, too. 
Because, like, women, this is embedded in them to be this way. We, you know, the period thing, nurturing, carrying babies, um, you know, just being compassionate. It's it's embedded in them to be this way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, to be able to take care of the children and give them that 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 support. Whereas some men are are harder. They're gonna you know teach you how to be alpha. They're gonna teach you how to be strong and stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. you need that loving mother or sensitive mother to teach you how to do this teach you that and you know what i'm saying so that part is like the balance mm-hmm. you know what i mean i still women sometimes women they want to feel that way because maybe they want to compete with men there's no there's no other there's no other gender or or species that competes with men more men it's not the other way around men don't compete with women you i've never heard of alpha males say well i could be pregnant if i want I could carry babies. I could have a period. I could wear a dress. Alpha I mean, males you can not, have a period. It's, it does now. Now it doesn't make you alpha anymore. It doesn't make you alpha anymore when you're trying to compete with a woman. But a woman's gonna try to compete with a man because she wants respect. She wants to seem like, oh, I'm I'm down too. Like I could do this too. I'm down too. Mm-hmm. And she wants she wants that that um that that equality. You know what I'm saying? She wants to be able to to be like you know well it's it's an equal thing you know it, it, we're we're equal in species that's why that's mm-hmm. why women that's why a lot of those women try to compete with men where they they could come out and say oh i'm strong i'm independent i don't need a man you know what i'm saying because it's like they're trying to compete with men mm. you know what i'm saying they're trying to and it's it's like it's it's counterproductive well it's counterintuitive. Let, me get to, let me get to this bully where it says you had two women fight over you at a club. Mm. Let's get to that because that sounds interesting. For, first of all, I want to ask you: Are women prone to allow allow to allow a lot of shit slide because of great sex? Yes. Not just the great sex that is obviously a bonus mm. for the woman, but if we're talking about you know everything that you just said, it's great sex. It's you know he goes to help you when when you need help makes you coffee or tea in the morning or whatever it's the little things that will make a um, make her be like all right absolutely you don't you don't have this you know to this half of the of the meal you, you don't want to go half I'll pay for it don't worry about it absolutely. of course they're going to let it slide cuz it's all of that combined mhm mhm it's cuz of these um these these loyalty traits these loyalty genes that's embedded in them that a lot of them try to fight but they can't like you meet a woman that will say to you oh i've never um i've never made love i've uh i don't i don't make love i, I just like it rough i just like it rough that's depending on the man she's with a woman that says that to me is not um doesn't even know what she's talking about like relax you never met a man like me mm. you know mm-hmm. i can show you three different types of making love you never met a man like me. So now when they meet a man like you, they transition. Now yes. they start loving again. Mm-hmm. They probably had a lot of, um, you know, simps in the past. They had a lot of beta males in the past. So now they think this is what it is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You, you know these men outside of your father. You could have been with two, three men, five years apiece. That's only 15 years of a relationship experience. 15 years of relationship with the same type of man. You're driving a Honda for 15 years and you finally meet a Ferrari. Wait a minute. There's different cars out there. They're fully loaded and you drive it and you're just like, yo, I'm never going back to a Honda again. Cause it's I never a smooth knew. Ride. I never knew that there were other cars like this around. It's just mm-hmm. like a man. You know what I'm saying? Like men lead, women follow. You know, women follow their lead. You just know? Just like um I saw I saw like memes or whatever, or or even like people have stated. When uh when they're in a when people are in a relationship like couples mm. they tend to take on the other person's attributes or yes. like they listen yeah yep. they listen to they start talking like them mm. they start dressing well similar and 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 they listen start to listening to music, music. yeah yep. using their words I said that part of mm-hmm. 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 so wait can we go back to this story to this bullet okay so this is two women I got who fought over me okay. So, both of these women were Boricua. 
Oh, that means it got bloody. <laughs> no. Just kidding. I love my Puerto Ricans. Um, so both of these women were Puerto Rican, Boricua. Um, I don't know why Boricos gravitate towards me and vice versa. I don't have a preference for for a group. Mm-hmm. You know, I've dated Mexicans, Ecuadorians, Honduras, you know, Costa Rican. Like I don't have a preference. You know what I'm saying? It it's just whether she's Latina or whatever, I don't have a preference. And I also don't have a preference of race. Right. You know what I mean? My my race is submission. That's my love language. That's your preference, right? You know, BDSM is my love language. Submission is my love language. There's a nerve in my heart that responds to the vibrations of submission. So I respond to that because of who I am as a man. Mm. You know, my character and, and all that adamant in my ways. Mm-hmm. Um, You know, so it doesn't matter if she's yellow, whatever. Gotcha. Purple. As long as she's submissive to you. Yeah. Gotcha. So... I've okay, so the first woman that I was with, she was older. Okay. And I'm gonna get to where we met. We met at a at a supermarket or something. She was in the aisle of the adult diapers, the pens. Okay. And um I she gave me a, a she smirked at me. And you I, were walking down the same aisle. Walking down the mm-hmm. same aisle. I was walking down that same aisle to pass to another aisle. But I saw her, and as I saw her, she we made eye contact. She smirked at me, so automatically I took that as a hint to walk up to her. So I walk up to her, an invitation, correct? Walk up to her and I say, "Um, why are you in the adult diapers section? You're not old enough to wear diapers. Like you're buying them for you." Now that is a asshole remark. That a man should get slapped mm-hmm. for. However, if you're handsome like me, you might be able to get away with it. Um, I'm going to go step out on a limb and say that you got away with that one. Yes. <laughs> so. Are you buying she, those for you? <laughs> she, she smiled. She smiled and then gave me the evil eye. And then she was like, she was like no, like I'm, I'm talking to my mom on the phone. They're for her. I'm like, I know, I know that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was a joke. So I said, what's your name or whatever? She told me what her name was. She will remain nameless, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to drop her name. We don't talk anymore. Um, she, prob- she, prob- she moved. Um, and also we lost contact. But she used to live out here in Long Island. And um, so, so I said to her, um... We were connecting. I said, mm-hmm. what, let me get your number. You know, I want to take you out sometime. She's looking at me like, man, I'm probably old enough to be your your uh, your mother. Oh. And I'm like, I don't think so. You don't you don't look. At the time, I think mommy was like 50. She was in her 50s. She's 61 now. But mm-hmm. she was in her 50s. I was 28 at the time. Okay. I'm 34 now. So now. So now, um, she asked me, how old are you? And I said, um, and I said, does it matter? I'm old enough. And she's like, does age matter? It's just a number. So she's over here like, like, so I said, so I finally gave in. I said, I'm 28. So she says, you see, you, you a baby, you a baby. So now, you know, um, she says, I'm tired of meeting these young guys. Like I go to the club and all these young guys are hitting on me or whatever. I'm tired of meeting them. So I'm like, you never met this young guy. <laughs> she starts laughing like you did. And um now she's curious. She give me she raised her eyebrow. So, I just did all that. So now I'm like, now I say to her, So you 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 just gonna leave me hanging? You're not gonna give me the number? I say, you know what? You don't have to give me the number. Because I could be like a stalker or something. And now I have your contact. So just give me your social media. If you don't like me, you could always block me. That's true. She's like, that's what she said. That's true. So she, she was, I'm like, you on Facebook? This is when I had my old Facebook page, not the new one. So she she's on Facebook or whatever. We um requested each other. She approved right there. Right? So now I take her phone. I take her phone and I just start playing with it and I'm like, oh, this is my um 
this is my my social media or whatever. She starts looking at my 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 photos right away. Mm. Right away. Some people would wait till they get home or whatever. She, she was starts like, nope, right in front of you, right buddy. away, like an <laughs> FBI agent. Right? Yeah. So now she witnesses the tattoos. Now, mind you, I went to that store in like a, a shirt and tie. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the things I like that I don't have tattoos on my hands, my neck, my face. Because I could always go in public like Clark Kent. Mm-hmm. You don't know. So now she's looking at my tattoos. She's she's looking at me. She's looking at my t- tattoos. She's looking at me. There's no, there's no way this is you. And I'm like, what do you think? It's Photoshop? Like, you clearly see my face. Mm. It's Photoshop? She's like, maybe. So I roll my eyes. Now... She's like, oh, I have tattoos also. And I'm like, where? And she's like, places you're never going to see. So I'm over So I start smirking like, that's an invitation for she wants me to pipe her. So now. That's an invitation for, for you? So I kept that to myself. Uh-huh. So now I'm over here like, it's like an invitation. She wants me to pipe her, but she wants me to work harder. Mm. When she's, oh, I have tattoos, but in places. Why would you tell me that? Mm. Because you eventually want me to push harder to see. Oh, I have tattoos in places you never gonna see. Just say you got tattoos. Can I can I know where they were? <laughs> so <laughs> so inquiry minds wanna know. So, um so now, you know, we we you know start dating. Start dating. We how finally long, we long? finally got the number because we were texting back and forth on um on um Facebook. It didn't even take a day. She was already hitting me up with a number. And I think it's because the tattoos helped. Mm-hmm. She okay. might have saw me as a little boy, but when she saw the ink, she was like, mm, dominant. That man can take pain. Yes. And he could probably give it. Remember, she's um, Boricua. Oh, okay. Most of them are like masochists. My they don't mind a little bit of smacking around, little knife choking, play. choking, little, choking get it? shit like that. You know what I mean? Knife play, my Puerto Ricans. Come on. So, Come on. <laughs> You got it. So, um, so, so now, you know, we start going out or whatever. Now, be prior to sex. This is me. I don't volunteer information, but if something's asked of me, I'm going to oblige. Now, also sex. When sex is, is, is coming into play, I tell them what I am because now it's like, I don't have vanilla. Like, Like what you're into. Yes. I don't have vanilla shit and I don't want to. I don't want to lead nobody on. Mm. So now I let her know, listen, I want to fuck you, oh my but, Lord. but I have to tell you what the deal is. So when I told her, she was on some shit like, this is 50 grades, 50, I was going to say 50 grades. 50 grades of shade. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> 50 right? grades of shade, that's true. So now I'm over here like. Oh my God, now I have to educate her and I have to tell her that's not BDSM. No, this is BD, you know what I'm saying? Mm. For educated her to a point where she said that she wanted to try. I was about to ask, was she still intrigued with it? Yes. Oh. Now, mind you, this woman was so combative, so dumb. And she was a Leo also. Leo. She was and, combative with you? Yes. Just in, yeah, and in general. Okay. Leo and Boricua, dangerous combination. You know what I'm saying? But the thing with Leos is they're the strongest sign of the Zodiac because of the, the lion. Scorpios are the most powerful. Now, if these two can get along, they could be a power couple. But I've never been able to really get along with Leo women. They're very dominant. Mm. Only mm-hmm. in the bedroom, they're willing to relinquish control. But everything else, they don't mind wearing the pants. They're very dominant. That part, yeah. So they like their men extra strong. To not only handle them, but to put them in their place mm-hmm. as far as like making decisions. Like, because they don't have a problem making decisions mm-hmm. and being dominant. So now we finally engage sexually. Okay. Being that she knows I'm dominant outside also, she was obliging by certain things. Okay. For example, um, be ready at seven o'clock. I'm coming to pick you up for dinner. She was ready at 6.55. What about um, the nails and, and the hair yes. and the dressing? All that, she, she, was, she was good with that. Okay. Yeah. Certain things she fought me on. 
you know what I mean, mundane little attitude she had. But, mm -hmm. you know, I was 28 at the time, not 22. 22, I cut heads faster than barbers do. Bye. Mm -hmm. You give me a little attitude, I'm gone. But now, it days, I'm more like, Oh, I could change that. She got a little attitude. Oh, I could change that. She just haven't had the right person to lead her mm -hmm. properly. So now, you know, the sex is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Tattoo on her ass, her, 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 her thigh. thigh. Like wrapped around? Yeah. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Amazing. Sex was amazing. Like, this woman is a, what do you call those? Water gun, squirt, but a gun, squirt guns, yeah, super soaker, <laughs> amazing. You know what I mean? Moans are like music to my ears. Amazing. I'm choking her. She's choked me harder. She grabbed like she's grabbing my wrist. Choked me harder. Amazing. Everything was amazing as far as the sexual environment. She allowed me to tie her up, have my way with it. Amazing. Now, outside of it, the jealousy. Outside of it, the um Hello. Do you not expect it to be jealous? You just hit the crazy button. Combative with certain things. Or oh, I'm at work. Oh, I called you. This, this, that. Oh my God. I'm surprised now it's the and she was older, right? Yeah. Hmm. Now the drama comes in. And I'm like, I didn't sign up for this. This is not the lifestyle I live. This is vanilla shit. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> We've done it in crazy places, in the beach, at night. You know what I'm saying? Park. I'll, I'll be scared there's a jellyfish there. <laughs> Whatever. Like stung we, right in my we've ass. done it. She came out with a with a sundress, no panties. Oh, I'm coming to see you. I ain't got no panties on. Like mm -hmm. crazy shit. We've done. We've went to the club together. Now, when it ended because it was too much drama outside of the bedroom, and I'm not a type of guy where it's Makeup sex, breakups, mm -hmm. makeup sex, break. That's toxic. Mm. I don't deal with I that. Agree. I did that when I was young. You know what I'm saying? 22, 23. I was 28 at the time. I was like, I'm not doing that. We, you know, I ended things with her. Now, most alpha women, this is what they, they say to you. You're not man enough. It's, high, it's, psych, it's reverse psychology. Yeah, it's manipulation. Mm -hmm. You're not strong enough to handle a real woman. A strong woman. Mm. She was sending me things like, you can't place a crown on, on a clown and call him a king. All of these things. Oh, you're wow. not dominant. You're not this, this, that, right? You know. She was hurting, and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm immune to that. Because I realized I'm already steps ahead of you. This is chess I'm playing. You're playing checkers. I'm steps ahead of you. I already know she's hurting. She's trying to hurt me back with words. Mm -hmm. I'm the master of war of words. No. Don't play a Scorpio in War of Words. An we, author at that. We are going to make you cry. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you can say all these things verbally to me. I'll look at you like this with a flat stare. Mm. Are you done? Are you done? You know what I'm saying? You can antagonize me all you want. I'll be like, are, are, you, are you done? You want to have an adult conversation now? This is me. So now... You know, I'm just like, all right, good luck with your future endeavors. Boom. Now I meet another woman. Mm -hmm. We didn't talk for several weeks. I mean, another woman. Now, she, the, both of these women are classy. The first woman, the Boricua, um, they're both Boricua, but the first woman, the older one, she, um, she was in a corporate um, environment. I forget what she, what she did. Mm. The second one was an RN. And she was your age, the second one? She was in my age bracket. Okay, got you. She was older than me. I think she was like 30. I was 28 or she was 31. Oh, so close the to you. The first one was 41 okay. when I was 28. Jesus. So okay. the, the second one was closer in my age bracket. Now, the second one, we were getting to know each other. Um, We went on a, a few dates, met her at a bar. All we did was kiss. I never took her to bed. Now, the second one... I was meeting her at this club. The first one, we had ended like long time ago, whatever. We haven't fucked with each other after that. Because I'm not that type of guy mm -hmm. to, to we had a long-term relationship and now we're just going to do friends with benefits. Or, or I'm going to meet you once a month. How and, long were you, were you with her for? Uh, a good year. Mm -hmm, okay. You know, so, so now 
So now she knows we haven't fucked with each other in a long time and the relationship was bad. Mm -hmm. We ended on bad terms. She's texting me now, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, Just out of the blue one day? I'm looking at the phone like, why is, this, why is she texting me? So now I'm like, me, I told you before, I don't volunteer information, but if something's asked of me, I will oblige. I, I'm not going to hide shit. I'm not going to lie. I told her the truth. I'm going to a club. Now, I didn't tell her I was going to meet somebody there. I'm going to the um, club with my boys or whatever. Now. And you told her which club? Yeah. That maybe that part you should have left out. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, you should have. Okay, let's get to that. And. Definitely. So now she said to me, she said to me, I'm going out too, but I'm going to this club. And I said, okay, fine. No problem. Do what you want to do. You're not. Like, she was kind of myself. Not a full-blown 24-7, but like working training? to be. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was like, I'm not your dom anymore. You don't need to tell me shit. Mm. Oh, I don't want to know about you, what you're doing. And I said that to her. I said, don't tell me shit, what you're doing. Just, you know. Why not? Saying? Would you get jealous, do you think? Or you just don't care? I just don't care. Point, got you. you don't belong to me anymore. I just don't care. Mm. When you belong to me, it's like, y'all you're a prize to me. It's like, men take care of what's theirs. A car or whatever, things Got that you. they love. Got you. You, you. you have no relevance anymore to me. So so it's almost like, why am I going to put effort and time right. into knowing things about you? This, this, that. Right. It doesn't serve you any purpose, I guess. So uh, you don't have to tell me stuff. Oh, you going to that club? Okay, fine. Good luck. You know, whatever. Just be safe. Now, she must have went to that club because I got to the club I was at. Met up with the girl. She introduced me to her friends, whatever, with my boys. Later, the older girl, the other girl comes. The, the, the first, first one. one. Yes. She, she arrives at the club with her friends. And my eyes lit up. I'm like, what the fuck is she doing here? This is in my mind. Mm. Now I'm just playing it cool. I'm not letting. She her saw you? Because you saw yeah, her? Yeah, we made eye contact. As she's now, entering? Now let me tell you something about this alpha female. A lot of them, not all, not all of them, but a lot of them have egos, big egos, bigger egos than men. She knew she saw me. Now, you're the one that's hitting me up prior, telling me all oh, this. Yeah. You're not going to come she and say hi. She found out where you were going. You're not going to come and say hi. Yeah. No. She saw me and she went the other way. Games. Mm. Okay. Fine. You want to play? You want to play chess? I'm already at checkmate. Cool. So now she's dancing with other guys or whatever. I'm over here like Scorpio, Scorpio, peripherals. Mm -hmm. She's trying to make me jealous. No, that, that ain't going to make you sweat. Boom. I'm mingling with the girl. That's the potential. Mm -hmm. She's dancing with her friends. Now she saw that her plan wasn't working. So now she got to put her ego aside and now you got to come talk to me. Mm -hmm. She walks up to me. She says, hi. I say, hi. The new girl was with you? The new girl was with me, yeah. Um, I introduced her to this girl. I say, hey, um, you know, my date. You know, because I can't say, I'm not going to say that's my girl. Right. She's not my girl. You said yet. my date. This is my date so-and-so. Yeah. So now, you know, handshake, whatever. She gives her evil eye. So I'm over here like, so she both, she even saw it. She looked at me like, what was that about? When she left? When the first one left? Yeah. Okay. So I'm over here like. Did you tell the second one who the first one really was? I'm over here like, yo, th she's an ex. Shorty starts laughing. Now we're laughing. Now, the first one walks into the bathroom. The second one is with me saying, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, boy. So I now I'm like, like mm -mm. I'm like, mm. This is where I got bloody. I'm saying to myself, I'm hoping for the best because I'm, like, <laughs> I'm a gentleman. I'm a gentleman, okay? I'm a beast in certain circumstances, but I'm a gentleman outside of the bedroom. I'm mean? not going to walk into the woman's bathroom. I mean, I hope not. I'm a gentleman. Okay. So you could have said, oh, don't, don't grab her. Don't let her go or go in there, right? Uh, maybe don't let her go. Okay. So 
I'm not doing both things. <laughs> I'm not putting my hand around your throat in public. I'm not grabbing your arm. I'm not displaying any type like of aggression, physical aggression mm. to my sub or potential. All right, I'm a black man. Mm. Yeah, you gotta be. You careful. understand what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. Never did that. So I'm I'm always thinking first. Okay. Prior to actions, always. So now I'm just praying for the best. You know, don't let shit happen. Don't let it be physical. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Because you're sure, telling her this? The first, in my mind, oh, okay. the first girl is already tight. Mm, yeah, because she thought I'm going I'm to surprise him. Yeah. We're going to get together. So now the first girl, and I only know this because the second girl told me, okay. the one I, that was potential, there, the first girl is speaking amongst. Her friends, while the girl is in the bathroom, she knows. You know when somebody walk in the room and you're putting on a show, that's what she was doing. Now she's talking about me. You know, she's m mentioning my real name. They both knew my real name. Oh, they did? Okay. Yeah. She's mentioning my real name. So that's how the girl knows it's me. Mm -hmm. It's not just, oh, this guy, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. She's mentioning my real name. How would he, this is what she said. How, why would he do this? Why would he be here with somebody else? He knows how much it, it is for me to give myself to somebody. I'm not just giving pussy to no, no, no nigga, no, nobody. You know what I'm saying? He should know that about me. You know what I'm saying? He should know that about me. She's getting emotional. She's telling this to her friends. Now, they, they, they're face to face. The first girl, second girl. They're face to face. Now they're going at it. Verbally, these are corporate women. They're not going to physically oh, so nobody fight swung. Oh. because they have a lot to lose. Which is how you like it. Yes, I like women that have a lot to lose. You gotta go back. To you gotta go back in that yeah. episode. So now See? the second I'm woman, learning. the potential second second woman, comes out and she comes out smirking, and I'm like, "What happened?" And she's like, "You wouldn't believe what happened in the in the bathroom." Before she could tell me, the first woman comes in. And let me tell you what she did to fuck up my pussy that night. Potential. She, before she could tell me, the first woman comes and she gives me a peck on the cheek. And she, the, remember, the, first, the second girl, Potential, is next to me. Like, body to body. You had she, your arm around her? Yeah. Okay. She says to me in my ear, so she forcefully... When you're finished with her tonight, come over. I'll be waiting. Wow. I'm over here like shaking my head. Literally. It's not just you shaking your head in, in right, your right. head. Figuratively, you were actually Fi shaking your Yes, head. I'm literally shaking my head like, and I'm looking at <laughs> the other girl. She walks away. She's like, now she tells me what happened in the bathroom. Wait, she left the club? Yeah, yes, the first one left the club. Okay. The one that I'm that I met up there with, she's telling me what wh happened. What happened. She, so I'm over here like she's like. So now prior to her going in there, remember I told her she was my ex. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she's over here like, you guys still fuck with each other, and I'm like no. She's like you could tell me we've been we've been we've been keeping it honest with each other mm -hmm. from the beginning. Like I knew that she had a guy. That she was having a friends with benefits with, she told me, but she was trying to get rid of him. Okay. So she started the second chick. Okay, got the you. second chick. So we've always kept it a hundred with each with mm -hmm. each other. We didn't have no reason to lie right. because I don't have anything to lose right. if I tell you the truth. You don't have anything to lose if you tell me the truth. So she told me, "Yo, you don't have to lie to me," and I'm like, "I'm not lying." Mm -hmm. Like this is when I stopped fucking with her. We haven't had sex in what what what. She hit me up today. This is that. Now, we leave. Now, we leave. Now, with everything that happened, I'm suave. <laughs> I still managed to get her clothes off. Second girl? The second girl. Yo. While we're about to do it, guess what happened? Oh my God, the first girl calls. How did you know? Because you say, guess what happened? That's what I would guess. The first girl calls. I pick up my phone. Her name is on the caller ID. Shorty that I'm with sees their name. And she knew her name because I told her her name. She's rolling her eyes, putting her clothes on. Wow. She was like, you know what? It ain't even worth it, bro. 
Wow. <laughs> she did fuck it up for you. I would have been pissed. I was so, let me tell you something. A simp would have went over there to the first girl and, and, and. And had sex. And had sex. Me, I punished her even more. Hey, I dropped, like, I dropped <laughs> that girl off. The second I dropped girl? the second girl off. And I took my ass home. And Shorty was calling me and texting me, oh, I thought you were going to come over. Where are you? I'm home. Why would she think that you were going to come over? You didn't, you never verbal. you never because, said yes. Because, because, she she because like you, that? you're a man. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, I got you horny. What a surprise we that are, was We have, her. we have great sex. You're a man. Regardless of anything, how it is, where things are going bad or whatever. If I'm offering you pussy, you're a man. You're supposed to take it. You're supposed to take care of me. I think that's, that's where women that's fuck the, up. The, yeah. That's yeah. the difference that, with That me. we think we're going to fix shit with sex. Yeah. That's yeah. the difference. So me, I'm punishing her even more because this goes back to great sex being power. I have it. I'm punishing her even more by not going there. Because if I go there and I fuck her, she has she the won. power. Yeah, she won. Because she acted crazy today. You were, you were having a verbal altercation. You, we're not having sex anymore. You're not my And sub. in public. And, you, and you're calling me while you know I'm probably with her? And I'm going to reward you? Wait, did you ever get back having to, you know, sex with her or no. anything? Nothing? Mm-hmm. We kept in contact after that. You know what you I'm saying? You and the first girl? Yeah. But we never, um, I never went back mm-hmm. because I knew, I knew, I'm not going to lie, the shit was really good. And I felt like if I gave into that, that would have been power exchange. Like I have the power now. Mm, you just be handing it over. Yeah. Did you keep in touch with the second girl or that's it? Never heard from her? I, I did. I oh. did. You know but what I'm saying? Did you ever but have sex with her? No. No, and I think that, that would have made me not keep in touch with the first one. You know what? Mm. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Black. To me, it's like it is what it is. I I um I have so much experience, and that's why I try to teach the young guys out there mm. the game, you know what I'm saying, of um learning like psychology. I try to teach them about psychology. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's very good to know. And and men and women and um, Cuz you can you can use there, it for you could tell when somebody's trying to use it there, on you. Yes. And there and are that some women them. there are some women out there who men are not all bad, but there are some women out there who are wearing a mask. They're in disguise. They might be a good girl, pristine, but they have an evil soul. They know how to manipulate and get guys to buy them things and mm. cry and use him in, in oh you can't handle me as a strong use pussy as a they know how to use their yeah. their their what you would call gifts mm-hmm. as as um yeah, bait as a weapon yeah. as a weapon bait. and men need to be aware of this like you're simping yeah. you guys are simping. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you can't fall into the trap because she looks a type of way. She, this, this is great pleasure. So you don't like um, that type of attention or whatever when two females fight are, are, you know, are having an altercation or a problem with each other because of you don't like when they fight over you. Mm-mm. I don't, I don't like now, that either. Now I think because they were fighting over me was because of the great sex is power. Even though I never had sex with the first one. But the I second was, one. The second one, I'm sorry. But I was kissing her. Yeah. I was so she knew where it could have gone. She, yes. Yeah. She knew how good it could have been. You know what? She has a lot of willpower, that girl, because I would have been like, I'm going to check it out and yeah. then I'm going to go. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. That was a joke. Yeah. But she, she, knew, she knew how deep she was going to fall. Mm, and that's she, what I'm saying. She got good willpower. She, she knew. She knew that I don't want to give it away so quick. And plus, because I'm going to fall that you have, fast like the, and like, hard. Like the psycho that she had to deal with. Yes. That is a smart, you know, very that, strong that, that, woman. That, that pushed it in perspective for her. Mm-hmm. Because that, like, I'm telling you, that night, I would have got it. Even after everything that happened, the restroom, the, the first one kissing me on the cheek and saying that loudly. Even after that, I still salvaged everything and we were still going to get it on. Yeah, but you know why that is? Is You said it in one of our previous um, episodes. Women like what other women want. Yes. So if, if this chick also was going that have, hard. Also what they can't have. And what they can't have. Now, now, if this woman didn't go hard, the first one, I would have got it. Mind you, remember, she called. 
I'm at, what would what are the possibilities of her not calling? Hmm. But also, perhaps I could have dodged a bullet. That's true too. Maybe Why she not? was even more crazier. But yes, you never Why know. Not? You know, I could have dodged a bullet. So you know, the I I take the 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 the, the good with the bad, mm-hmm. and the bad you know me with the good. The negative I turn into a positive. Yep. You know what I'm saying. So I look at it on all That's different it. different outcomes, different perspectives. You know what I'm saying, and all the, the possibilities. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, but that that goes with that goes with power. The first one was acting, what I would say, crazy. She was tripping, tripping, because you like that, right? Because, because of what I was providing. Yeah, because you hit the crazy button. And then the second one was not cra- as crazy. She didn't Remember, get a chance to. You didn't exactly, hit the button, but it's still power. Because the the second one knew of the possibilities, mm. the first one have already already experienced it. She already so she it. knew that I gave him all my power, my emotions, and, and this, this is the, is and the it... kitty. The kitty was the power for her. Mm. That's know? nice. You said kitty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Like that. That's so funny. It's like you have a before and after. They're with you. Yeah, but. Before but here's the thing. Before here's you give the them sex, they're I nice always and, say, and normal. I always say <laughs> everybody wears a mask before you take it to that level. So before you have sex? Yeah. Okay. Me, I'm 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 this I'm this way. I I don't I don't wear a mask, but you don't see the full extent of me until you become my sub, until we have sex. And I'm gonna give people examples. I've had a girl in the past who was saying who said to me, she was a potential sub. You're so understanding. She was with her mm. friends. Um, I called, and she didn't pick up. All oh, of so my friends, you're so understanding. I said, yeah, I'm understanding now because you're not my sub. I kept it a book with her. But when she you probably didn't believe you. When you are my sub, when I'm your dominant, I'm different. She's like, how? So when you're with your friends, I don't care. You pick, you're picking up the phone. The only exceptions are work and family. Those are things prior to me. Mm. I don't care if that's a friend prior to me. That's not a family member. Mm. Work is your living and family is where you come from. That was, that's prior to me. Okay. Friends come and go. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So, so to me, I look at it like those are exceptions. So I'm, I'm, I'm different when you're my sub. Mm. There's going to be certain guidelines that you're going to follow. You understand? And, you know, that's why I'm saying, like, some people wear a mask before that. Once you get in a relationship with them or once you have sex, you're hitting the crazy button. Now they change. Where a girl could be a good girl. She could be so understanding and this or that. Next thing you know, you, you, like you said, you hit the crazy button and, um, all of a sudden they're, uh, they're, oh, who's commenting on your post? Did you mm-hmm. fuck her? Um, where are you? I called you. Oh, you're at work. Yeah, right. You know, this, whatever. Making up scenarios. Right, right. You understand what I'm saying? Some women jump to conclusions. No, no. Most women. I want to say some. Most women. 94%. 6% don't, but 94% of women assume. They jump to conclusions. I always tell them, never assume, but the fucking position. I'm going to say that I agree with you. I think most women will jump to conclusions. However, I will say that a lot of women may jump to conclusions, but they won't act on it. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I have, I, I know I have jumped a thousand to a thousand conclusions in my mind, mm. but I will never, you know, do that. Mm. Where are you? Why aren't you here? Why aren't you? I wouldn't, I will never go to yeah. somebody's phone. I will never ask them where you at, mm. where, who you with. Show, FaceTime me so I can mm. see. I'm never going to do that. I'm so, never going to argue with somebody in the bathroom. That's so, for sure. So what are your final thoughts? My final thoughts are be careful who you um, are exchanging your sexual energy with because I really agree that sex is power. And if you have sex with somebody who's giving you amazing sex, but is a shitty person, then oh yeah, <laughs> you're really fucked. Mm-hmm. Get it? <laughs> yeah. 
Pun intended. <laughs> Can you get me that that book, Strong Bonds? Yeah. Um, cause you you actually your final thoughts is something I was gonna say. I was gonna talk about um about um having sex with the wrong person. Yeah, and protecting your 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 power, cause that could be a power for some people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's obviously a power for me. Um, so I'm gonna just read a certain package. Okay. All right, this is a this is a scene with Maria and uh and Dominic. Okay. He blindfolded her with his tie and he used the bed sheets to bind her wrists together. He fucked her into a totally different dimension. Fucking her is a sense of power for him and it's an incentive for her to remain loyal to him. The better he fucks her body, the better chance he has to control her mind. Dom had Dom was getting dressed and while he was doing that, he tells her he will always protect her and anything she needs, he's just a phone call away. Maria replied with astonishment. Oh my goodness, I must fix my hair. She was laying in bed with the sheets covering her naked body, glancing at herself in the mirror close to her. She told Dom, I would love to walk you out, but you fucked me so hard I could barely walk. I'll be here in bed until I can feel my legs again. They both laugh. They said goodbye to one another. Me voy, Dom says. He walks out of the room. Dom was already packed since he planned on leaving soon. He wanted a comfortable and swift arrival, so he called the private jet. Now that's all I'm going to leave it at that. Mm. But Dom and uh, I can hold this. Dom and and Maria's interactions are <laughs> Are like a roller coaster, mm -hmm. as they will witness when they read that um that six book strong bonds never break, you know. But like you were saying about energy, sex is an exchange of energy, mm -hmm. and some people can't handle some women, not people. Some women can't handle good dick. Some men can't handle good pussy. Mm -hmm. Like me, I've had good pussy in my life, but. I have the strength to walk away from it if it's not benefiting me in a in a ben, um in a conducive way of what I'm trying to build as far as partnership together uh relationship aspect. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whereas a lot of weak men have a problem with that. Oh, she gives she gives good head. Oh, she looks good. She got good pussy. Like it's hard to walk away from her. So sometimes men will these men will tolerate bad behavior constantly disrespecting you emasculating you whatever it is mm. and they will stay with those women because those women like i said they have those attributes attributes yeah you know what i'm saying and women as well a woman will stay with a shit guy you know because he's providing that mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's like some women can't handle good dick some men can't handle good pussy and it's like sometimes when you have good pussy and good dick, it might lead to domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. Or really aggression, but but like it's just all about knowing yourself too. It's not like that's toxic. Like you could yeah. have good dick but be a good man. Mm -hmm. You know, you could be a bad boy, you could have good dick, but you could be a good man. And you could be in tune with your divine masculine, mm -hmm. and she could be in tune with her divine feminine, and now it's not toxic. Now it's not, you know, like that. Have you gotten that? Have you ever gotten to that point? Of what? Of uh, of that, like having, um, uh, a, like you knowing yourself, somebody else, you with somebody that knows themselves, and it's not toxic. Because I'm assuming, because you, you know have really good sex with, with people and clearly you push their crazy button. Have, have you gotten to, to, um, feel that of somebody that's secure and, and doesn't get crazy? No, it's almost too good to be true. I have found it, but she lives in like a totally different state and she's the same sign as me. So it's better. We stay friends. Uh, okay. So you, you do. know, okay. but I, this is what, this is what I believe. And then we're going to, we'll, we'll cut. Mm -hmm. I believe that when you have a woman that 
is not crazy for you. Now, I love I love my subs to be obsessed with me and to be crazy for me, but in a good way. Okay. Those things that I dealt with in the past was a bad crazy. It was toxic crazy. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. You know, crazy for you is like, oh, I'm thinking about you all day. I love that. Mm. Oh, I'm, um, you know, they're just constantly, you know what I'm saying, wanting to do things for you. That's good crazy. You understand what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. But to me, I look at it like when you as a man can make a woman orgasm multiple times, if you're lucky enough to make her orgasm once, She's already going to build that emotional attachment with you. She's giving you her power whether she wants to or not, or not mm -hmm. because you're making an orgasm. You stated in, in, a, in a show, I think it was a bonus episode, not a lot of women are coming mm -hmm. even when they're, they have a partner. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that might be true. I, I've never experienced, experienced it, it. Right. but that might be true. But that would make sense. That would make sense for them to not get to that level. Or maybe you have a guy in a relationship where she's the more dominant one and he's simping. And that could be it. Because if he was making her nut crazy, she would be submissive. I definitely she would be so. building emotional attachment to him. Because this, this, when you're releasing those fluids, trust me, those women have... women. Um, they're, they're, they have different chemicals that mm -hmm. release from their brains mm -hmm. than men do. Yes, that's true. These chemicals they cannot control. I don't care if that a, that's a woman that's like, oh, I'm heartless. I, I, I don't have a problem. I'll just fuck a dude and on to the next one. No, you meet that one. <laughs> Those things you cannot control. You cannot control your body. I've that's met true. women that have said that and they are convulsing. They're shaking. Legs are shaking. Oh, it's uncontrollable. I can't stop coming. I can't stop. I can't control it. <laughs> I can't control my well, body. Damn. They're building an emotional attachment now. Mm. When That's you're true, men, but it, it, like you said, because they're getting things that they've women, never gotten before. Yes, there's women out there who are aware of this. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I met a woman who we were engaging and she was about to come and she wouldn't. She and she stopped herself? She stopped herself and she told me, it's because if I do that, I know. And I, know. I said, I know. But the next time you do that, we're, not, we're never going to do this again. Because I like when a woman does that. It's a stroke to my ego. Was she a sub? Obviously she not. Potential. Because you would. Oh. She's potential. But I said, Wouldn't if you, you do that. Her if, to? I said, if you do that again, we're never going to. We're breaking everything off. Yes. Nothing. Wow. Because she didn't want to give me her power. She knows how crazy she could get, probably. She knows how much she's going to give a man. And she knew that my lifestyle was kind of. Oh, iffy for her iffy for her um she she didn't like a lot of things but she still wanted to fuck with me mm. you understand what i'm saying so she knew damn if yeah. i give him that's another this, strong ass woman to hold if i it? give him this and then another woman he has i'm gonna have to accept that mm. because I, because i gave him this she was aware of that wow so these women, that's yo, amazing. when a woman, Actually, when, when a woman can tie it up, don't say she's the devil. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. Because women shouldn't have that control, especially. He goes. No, that's a devil. If, she, if she's able to do that and it's good, that's the devil. She, she, like a woman I've always experienced, she's losing control in that certain in that interaction. Moment? In, in the that, moment where you're saying she's tightening up. She's losing control? No, oh. when she's not. When she's ah, letting loose, yeah. literally, she's letting loose, she's losing control. Ah. When she's tightening up and stuff like that, on her, for her, on her will, you know, manually doing it, she's the devil. Mm. She knows how to play games. She know, you know what I'm saying? That's somebody you got to be careful with. Mm. All right. So um, you have any else? Anything else? No. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, go purchase one of EL Discipline's books. Or all of them. www.eldiscipline.com. Um, Amazon. Um, also, AJB Publishing. Um, Author House. Author House. Um, yeah, so I love this episode. Um, it was great. Dorrance. Yeah, Sorry. Dorrance. It was So, good. once again, ladies and gentlemen, you were tuned in to one of the most um unapologetic 
raw, uncut, no holds barred Real. podcast out there. The Discipline Therapy Podcast. Peace. Peace.